Avatars of Time, Avatar 3. In this episode we are going to discuss the directionality of time. Time has one direction for us. This is clear, otherwise we could not discuss this. But there has been many, many attempts to speculate on the hegemony of this mono-directional view. There's many attempts to make films about this topic, going back in time, reversing time, stopping time. But what we are discussing here in this series is not the intrinsic component of the question, what is time? But we are only dealing with its appearances. What does time do on us? So therefore we made this division in the static and the dynamic time. The static being a sort of eternal, literally, basin of the particle called time. The dynamic is the flow of this time. Then you could say that the moment it starts flowing, it needs a direction, a linearity. Or, as the speculative um, thinkers would say, there is also a non-linear dynamic. But the static and the non-linear are those divisions of the capacity to look at time that we are not discussing in this series. We are only interested in the linear and the dynamic dimension of time. So envision that we are now discussing one direction of time only. Time progresses in the same way. Then this could be true for one observer. One observer would view this arrow from the side, thinking it would move from the bottom to a place upwards. But the moment you introduce a second point of view, then you would say, or you would see that this second observer would see this arrow not moving, but looking to something which is going upward only. Then we come to the more important part for us, because we are dealing with the perception of time. And we all can relate to some moments in our life that we would like to reverse time, to relive time, relive events or redo events even. And this very and highly subjective uh, point of view in the direction of this time uh, can even double up with the current time. The déjà vu can be seen as such an effect of doubling time and perception. So maybe we could view this in the same way as the next footage, called People Doing Something. This is a collection of people moving through a public space. They all have their own goals, they all have their own path to go, but they share one thing. And this is the chronology, the chronology of this particular footage. If we look at the reflecting ceiling of this public space, we can find some embodiment of this concept of the directionality of time. Because we can see the same people moving in a horizontal plane in the same way as we see in the normal view. But if we look at the reflection, we can see the same horizontal movement but a completely different a vertical movement. And this could be some way of reflecting on the direction of time itself, because it is maybe not the time itself that flips from its bearing, but it is the perception of the same time in a different point of view. Thank you for watching.